and you tell them one thing. Just win, baby. Before I do get started with this video, as you guys already know, this week we will be playing the Houston Texans here in Las Vegas, and if you guys are planning to go to the game this weekend, then I want to let you guys know about the newest sponsors of this channel, the Game Time app. If you're looking for some cheap last minute tickets for the Raider game or just any other events, then this is the app for you. Not only do they provide great prices, but when you're looking for tickets, they show you your exact view from your seat. So download the app today and use my promo code Samoan Raider to get $20 off off your first purchase of $150 or more. So it looks like the Raiders might bring back a familiar face to this offense. According to Jeremy Fowler, he reported that the Raiders have inquired about Patriots wide receiver Nelson Aguilar. Of course, it has to be another Patriot player. I, I don't know why. It seems like we always got to trade with the Patriots, but... I think it's kind of ironic. Anywho, now I know that Nelson Aguilar does have a bit of history here with the silver and black. He's still 29 years old, has a lot in the tank still left in him. And I know that connection between Derek Carr and Nelson Aguilar was flawless over here in Las Vegas shit. Derek Carr is the reason why Nelson Aguilar got paid. I'm rich, bitch. And if you guys think I'm joking about this, just look at the stat sheet, man. Nelson Aguilar's career with the Raiders in one season is better than his two seasons in New England. With the Patriots, he has 51 total receptions for 690. 98 yards and four touchdowns and that's over the span of two seasons with the Patriots now look at the one season that he had with the Raiders and Derek Carr he had 48 receptions for 896 yards and eight touchdowns a career year for Nelson Aguilar so I understand the reason why the Raiders would want to bring him back would it be nice to have Nelson Aguilar back in the silver and black reuniting with Derek Carr Yes, of course, I would love to add him to this offense. I know we have a lot of weapons here, and to add another weapon like Nelson Aguilar would only possibly, you know, take this team to another level. Now, should the Raiders go and trade for Nelson Aguilar? No. I don't think so. As much as I love Nelly in the silver and black, I don't think that he's a priority. I don't think that wide receiver is a priority for the team. And if I wanted to use any draft capital that we have left before the deadline, it's got to be for the defensive side of the ball. Or at least somebody that could step in and play the right tackle position for us on the offensive line. Like I said it before, we do have a lot of weapons right now. Wide receiver is not the top of the list right now. We already got Matt Collins on here, who I believe is still solid. Hunter Renfro, who I don't know what the fuck has been going on with him after he got his contract, but hopefully he steps up in the second half of the season for us and of course we got our number one wide receiver in Devontae Adams uh, I don't know what's going to be going on with the trial and whatnot with this cameraman down the line uh, hopefully nothing does happen to Devontae Adams but we have him for right now if we do need a wide receiver for the future we could go pick up somebody else but hey that's just me Raider Nation what do you guys think about the shit the Raiders go out and get Nelson Aguilar reunite with DC do you feel like he can help elevate this offense to new heights maybe or do you guys agree with me in saying that we don't need another wide receiver on this team and we need some help on the defense side of the ball let me know your thoughts down in the comments below now another thing that i did want to talk about is nick wright now nick wright is a guy that i don't ever 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 agree with but i seen a clip of nick wright you know showing the raiders a bit of love out there you know this one and four raiders team is not out of the race just yet he believes that the raiders can go on a run and be five and four and turn this thing around which you know i've been saying that quite a lot the, the people's gut reaction is well it'll be the chiefs and the chargers maybe but the raiders one win this year came in division against denver they then have after the bye houston new orleans Jacksonville, Indy, Denver again. So do I think that it's smart to just discount the Raiders? I don't. They're one and four. Could I see them being five and four in a month and being alive? Absolutely, I could. They're, you know, they're lost to the Chiefs. Obviously, they could have won it. They're lost to the Cardinals. They Obviously, they should have won it. They're lost to Tennessee, came down to a two-point conversion. So I just, I'm not going to discount the Raiders. Like I said before, man, I don't ever agree with Nick Wright, but my boy's speaking facts right here. <laughs> I just hate the fact that, you know, no matter how much this team disappoints me year in and year out, you know, week in, week out, I always find that little glimmer of hope that they could turn this whole ship around. You know, coming off of the bye week, yes, we have a lot of winnable games, but it's still any given Sunday. And knowing the Raiders team, man, they always tend to lose the games that we should be winning. But looking at our schedule right after the bye week, like I said, 
winnable games. We got the Houston Texans this weekend, which I'm going to be over there. If you guys are going to be over there, let your boy know. We also got the New Orleans Saints following that. And we also got the Jacksonville Jaguars, Indianapolis Colts, and Denver Broncos. Shit, you could throw those, the Seattle Seahawks in there. And even the LA Chargers coming over here to Las Vegas, we fun to whoop that ass. Shit, I can see the Raiders actually winning seven games coming out of the bye week. But will it happen? We'll see. We'll see, man. Looking back at the games that we did lose this year, the, the four games that we did lose this year, man, we were so close. We were just a couple of plays away from winning those games. And shit, we could be 5-0 and right now. The only thing that we need to do better is have some better fucking execution. Are we clear on that? I want better fucking execution. Man, I love that clip so much because that's the type of energy we need moving forward. Whether it's us going out and trading for another guy like Nelson Aguilar, which I don't think the Raiders should do, or us going out and bringing in some more defensive weapons, which I feel like we should do, we just got to find better ways to go out there and win ball games. Because like I've said many, 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 many times before, man, this team, this Raider Nation, this, this fan base, we have a lot of expectations for this team to go out there and win games. With that said, do you guys believe that the Raiders can actually go on a winning streak coming out of the bye week? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Now, the last person I do want to talk about is our star tight end, Darren Waller. Now, I know there's a lot of frustrated fans out there uh, of Darren Waller because this dude has missed a couple of games here and there. You know, he got paid. Missed a couple of games, and in most of the games that he did play, he didn't look like the star tight end that we all seen before. But as of today, Sean Reed tweeted out that Darren Waller missed his second straight practice in a row due to his hamstring injury. Now, better safe than sorry, especially with his injury that he's been dealing with these past couple of weeks. And as frustrated as a lot of fans are, it seems like the Raiders did rush him back a little bit too soon, and he did not look 100%. You look at the last game that we played against the Kansas City Chiefs, this dude was barely on the field, was out there for, I believe, what, eight snaps, and, and couldn't even finish that last game. Now, hopefully he did not aggravate his injury and it doesn't affect them in the long run because uh, we're definitely going to need them uh, in the long stretch of the end of the season but Vic Tafer tweeted today confirming that Darren Waller will most likely be out in this week's game against the Houston Texans now I could easily say that this is going to be a huge blow for the offense but looking back at the couple of games that he was playing I, I feel like we were better out without him out there there are also reports out there that Hunter Renfro was not seen at practice today as well so I don't know what's going on there uh, I don't know whether or not he's going to play this week or if he's dealing with an injury but if he's not going to be playing and darren wall is not going to be playing then we're down two big weapons for Derek carr this week against the houston texans so it looks like we might be expecting more out of mac collins this week and possibly even keelan cole it is good to see that foster Moore was back at practice so hopefully he gets to play this week now real quick before i do leave i just want to address all of those people that want to trade darren waller away before the trade deadline now I don't know how much we would get for Darren Waller. I don't even think we'll get a first round for Darren Waller. A second round pick probably be the best. But should the Raiders go and trade away Darren Waller? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We should keep him and try to ride this out. I know we just recently signed him to an extension. So at this point, I feel like the Raiders are better off just sticking with Darren Waller for the rest of the season. Because uh, if he does come back to full strength and this offense is rolling, then, you know, Darren Waller would be a huge asset for this offense. But Raider Nation, what do you guys think? Should the Raiders be concerned about this? Should the Raiders even trade away Darren Waller? Yes or no? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Started off in Oakland, now we in. Now we in. Thought that we was done, we just hit another gear, look Started off in Oakland, now we here Now we here Ayy, pull up with the nation in the silver black gear, look Four games straight, we in the playoffs Shout out to the Chargers fans, y'all enjoy the layoff